Welcome to another edition of In the Studio. My name is Preacher. It's a name, not a title. And it is my honor to be here today to share with you a very, for a very good cause, the YD, FDYC, I'm sorry. I'm nervous. This is my first time hosting, so we'll get past that. <laughs> FDYC proposal. And I am here today with a personal friend of mine and someone who is very helpful in the community. His name is Frank. Uh, I always call him Frank Dog because of the old school <laughs> hey, DJ. Yeah, I used to be and Frank skills. Dog. So but now, as Frankie J. Woods, and we are here today to talk about FDYC proposal. So let's go ahead and get started today. I would like to start off by just kind of reading to you what, why we are here today. We are here for a good reason. First, let me say happy uh, Black History Month. We'll start off with that. It's uh, Black History Month this month. But we're here today for a good cause and talk about a good cause. And the FDYC proposal is this, to provide positive skills, development, and mentoring for, for youth through the art of video music production, DJing, and to deliver benefits to those youth. Now, that's important, but I also want to read something that I kind of just found out today myself, and it's kind of funny. The FDYC plans to use a mobile production vehicle to fulfill its mission for the youth. The mobile youth center will also be used to provide pay services to generate revenue to help support FDYC's nonprofit activities. So let's welcome Frank to the show. How you guys doing out How there? How you doing today, Frank, wonderful, man? Wonderful, wonderful. Like I said, Frank's a good friend of mine, so we're going to make this real relaxed. We're going to have a good time today. The first thing I would like to say, man, can you just tell us a little bit sure. about yourself and why you got involved in FDYC? So I want to see, like uh, Preacher said, my name is Frank. Uh, I used to go by Frank Dog. Well, I currently go by Frank Dog. But um, I'm a, a Davis resident. Um, I've been here for all my life. And I uh, started off as a DJ at 14, um, working at, youth, uh, at the Holmes Junior High School and high schools and then downtown circuit. So now I'm providing the services to the youth. I learned something today, Frank, and this is something that I've, I've known you for so long, the importance of this mobile vehicle and, and what it entails and what we're doing here today. And can you tell us a little bit, uh, you were telling me a story sure. earlier today about the John Lennon bus and like how it was able to come to different vehicles. Can you tell us a little bit about the importance of this mobile youth center? So, and why is, it, why is it important and what we're doing here today? Sure, so we are, I, I had this vision come to me of cause when I was doing workshops around the community, I said, why don't I have a youth bus that all the youth could come in and experience these workshops mobile. So once I was looking online to see uh, if it's been done, I came across John Lennon's bus. Unfortunately, John Lennon's bus is $2.5 <laughs> million. I don't have that in the budget. So yeah, I said, <laughs> we could do it my way, which we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get a shuttle bus together and we're gonna use the community to help us uh, support and, and by donations get our own version of a mobile media youth bus for the teens. So there's one thing I like to I like to piggyback on people and I, I tell them like you know because I get a lot of questions like what exactly are you doing and you, you know who are you helping so can you tell us a little bit about the type of people that you're helping yeah, and how, sure. how that's getting involved. Oh, that's uh, scary. Oh, so <laughs> I should know this I've been here for a long time and I, so we aim to, to work with youth, uh, teenagers, 12 to 19, um, and privileged and underserved youth as well. As um, long as you have a passion for learning the media arts, like I have for the past 25 years, that's the people we're trying to reach. It's a great uh, opportunity for, for somebody to, to get employment after um, doing what we do. You know, we would teach a workshop from from a week to three weeks, and afterwards they get experience in somewhere they could take uh, to the next level and get a job from. And so I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Like, so I'm a DJ as well. That's kind of how we know That's each other. Nice, yeah. And I, I've been to a couple of your events, and we were just at one last week uh, in West Sac. Yeah, Black and History. It, uh, for uh, the Black History, History Foundation. Uh, and, and it was just amazing to see how the kids that you would, you would go up to a kid and you'd be like, you want to participate? And they'd be like, nah, I don't know if I do. Exactly. And you'd be like, come on, yeah. come on, come on and do it. And by the end of the, uh, end of the event, they were just so intrigued and so uh, fulfilled. 
And I just think that's a really important thing that you're doing for these young people. And so what we're going to talk about a little bit today is we, he, uh, Frank has, you know, let, let's be honest, it's a new generation. I, I get accused of being called an old man all the time. But we have a GoFundMe for the y, FY, FDYC. FDYC. <laughs> that's going to be a tongue <laughs> So yes. we're on a GoFundMe page here, and you can just tell. Can you just tell us a little bit about where they can find this? So yeah, if you go to it? to our GoFundMe page, it's uh, GoFundMe forward slash FDYC shuttle bus. And again, we just whatever you guys could do to help. Um, this is gonna be the first youth teen mobile media bus in Northern California, if not California itself. This is a huge. Huge thing, um, like I said, is I put all my heart and energy into it. This will happen. So I would like your guys' to support. Not other than that, but I, I come from the experience of not having somewhere to go uh, as a youth in Davis. There wasn't too many options. They closed down the, the teen centers. So I decided that if I make this a mobile youth media center, they could go to us. You know, we could park, at, we could park the media bus at a park, at churches, at uh, schools and they come in and get the experience that they're learning right now with the studio. And I actually, I really, uh, really, really love what you're doing here because I also grew up as somebody who wasn't privileged. And the, 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 the situation is a lot of times it's hard for people to come to, uh, uh, to buy equipment. To, it's hard for people to you know, come to different locations or house, but this bus is actually coming to the kids. And like, I really am encouraged by that and think that's a great thing. So we, we once again want you guys to go to the GoFundMe page. I know mean, you probably won't be able to see it. FDYC. I got uh, that right this time. <laughs> shuttle, <laughs> forward slash shuttle, shuttle bus. bus. I try to make it simple because, uh, you know, we work with teens. You learn that, okay, make it as, as short and sweet as you can make it so they can understand it. And, and but, briefly, if you could just tell me, so, you know, tell me a little bit about <clears throat> what, where you see the program going and what sure. you, where you see the goals of this place going. Like, you know, so like, I'm looking to do with YMCA and Boys and Girls Club. Uh, I've done with the youth, with the media arts. So everything that I've learned, again, DJing, media, music production, video production, I want to bring that to the youth. Um, nothing's wrong with Boys and Girls Club and YMCA, but I think there's a new way of teaching the youth to mentor the youth on how to you know, become better citizens you know, to the community. And also, the stuff that they learn is also getting uh, more experience and more opportunities to, to the youth and the businesses, because now they're able to have something produced and made from a youth by youth. And I would like to also like maybe go into a little bit of detail of perhaps like how you, uh, what's the best way for people to get in touch with you. Okay. Like, so we do have, I do have listed here, and I'll repeat this at the end as well, but you have a Facebook and a YouTube. If I was just a kid and I was watching this on TV right now, and I was like, I'm interested in uh, DJing, music production, and, mu and video production, what's the best way to get in contact So with you can you? reach us. I'm trying to be hip with the social media stuff. So we have Facebook um, at FDYC.org. We have YouTube at FDYC.org. And also, um, we have a website, fdyc.org. So those are the places where you can find us. Um, Davis Media Access uh, has you know, our channel as well, and we do stuff with Davis Media Access, which I want to say thank you, by the way. <laughs> Couldn't do this without them. Um, so yeah, that's a lot of the uh, resources we and have. And so we are, we, we're kind of slowing down here a little bit, but if you could just go a little bit, we have three different flyers that sure. are here. If you want to go a little bit on just the difference in the DJing part of the production, the music side, so, and the uh, video know, production side. We might not be able to see okay. it, but if you could just kind of okay. give like, oh, there you go. So this is what you t you would expect when you do a workshop. Each kid will, whoops, each kid will get a, a uh, brochure of, of the program, and it goes through Monday through Friday, and we teach lecture and lab. So it's just like a college setting. Um, they get the experience of learning, hands-on, and like I said, right now we go to the places like the buildings, schools, and all that, but I want them to come to us. So right. hint the mobile youth program. So if I was a kid and I were to say, okay, what would I learn about DJing? Okay. What would I learn about music production? And what would I learn about uh, video production? Just real quick. Yeah, so would I would say you will learn, or we say beat matching, 
um, how to choose music, as far as music production, uh, how to create signal flow, because uh, you have to take a signal from, from the speaker, or I mean for the microphone, to the mixer, out to the speaker. So those are some of the things. I try to make it as simple as, as that. And then for video production, editing, camera technique, um, and storyboard, and stuff like that. Okay, so I think we have a couple of slides like uh, that we're gonna show, our, uh, show the audience today. So this is the, the example of the first bus and uh, before uh, the goal here. Mm -hmm. And this is just, can you tell so us the importance of So what you see right now is that this is our, our um, formal mobile van and what we did was we brought the gear from the van to a workshop and uh, this is right here is we're teaching DJing workshop at the moment, but you can see it, it's, it's kind of hard every time to have to unload all the gear right. and uh, set it up, which teaches them how to set it up, right? right. After a while, <laughs> it's like, okay, week, week two, they're like, ah, oh, man, we gotta unload the, the van. So this is why I want to put all those items into a shuttle or, or to a media bus. And then tell us a little bit about so this, this, this is, is awesome. I love this picture, it's so this probably is my the, favorite So this is inside one. of John Lennon's bus, and this is the, the, the goal, this is what we're gonna accomplish, is to provide all the systems, uh, setups to the shuttle bus, so the kids can come in and get experience, and get that, that experience of what it feels like to be in the studio, in a in uh, uh, video production studio, in a music production studio, uh, there'll be a DJ set up in there, so everything that's, that's I love in the this media picture. Arts. That's like totally awesome, man. I just want to hold just before we talk about this picture. Like that last picture is, is the goal. That's the that goal. is the goal. That's where and we're that going to do the with goal the, of the mobile bus. The and mobile bus and the GoFundMe. We want to tell us a little bit about this one. This is a picture of you, some of the kids participating in the program, correct? Yeah. So, so. this is where it's at our uh, youth lock-in for New Year's Eve, and what we did, we were in a gym. Uh, we call it a gymnastic gym. And I brought the DJ set up to teach a workshop to over 300 kids um, that night. So they all loved it. We just set up a little area to teach a workshop. Um, yeah, that's basically what, what you see is the, all the stuff that uh, we had to bring out of that van into a, a, a facility like this. But the kids line up, sign up, and, and learn, learn how to DJ. And like I said, I actually, I. I Asked them to put this slide, so Frank doesn't know. No, I'm, I'm, we're going. I, <laughs> so I, I asked them to put this slide, and I did that on purpose because I just wanted everyone to know that Frank is—he's a good man. He's somebody who's very much involved in the community. I've known him for a long time, and I just wanted to show you this picture. It was my idea. I, I'll take the blame of really how hands-on he gets with this kid, with these kids, how important it is to the community. Uh, how important it is to him to be involved in the community. And so, once again, we are running out of time a little bit, but I just want to recap again. This is FDYC Future Development Youth Center. And we are here to promote a GoFundMe for a... We're trying to get a mobile youth bus. So be a part of the first mobile media youth bus in Northern California, in Yolo, California. Once again, we are here to provide services to Davis, to Yolo County and surrounding areas. This will be the first of, uh, first ever really, of uh, a youth media bus. And of its kind. And like yes. I said, once again, I am very, very happy to be part of some of this. And it's, it's really weird because I actually got to see Firsthand, like Frank asked me to come uh, speak to a couple kids, and I last couple weeks ago for Black History Month, and I actually was able to witness and be able to view what he was was doing. So once again, you guys, FDYC, I want to thank Davis Media Access thank for you, letting Davis me Media host Access. today. It's my first host. Sorry if I didn't do all right. I kind of stumbled in the beginning. Oh, yeah. And I once mean, again, thank time. you for another yeah. episode of. In the, the studio. studio, my name is Preacher. It's a name, not a title. Black History Month. And we'll month. see you next month. Happy Black History Month.